So the fact that people were, the fact that people were, um, had a cold here, I normally give all of the other things that you see me making teas with, you saw me earlier, but because everybody's better now, I want to make sure that they stay better. And I want to make sure that now the body begins to heal from what happened, you know, whatever the cold was or the virus was. And I want to help the body to rid it, even though they're much better now. Um, so the thing that I'm making for my daughter today, now that she's fever free and she's better, I'm not going to give her the other stuff, but I'm going to give her something that's very delicate, but also helps with the viral load and helps to heal the constitution of the body. So that is, el those are elderflowers. So elderflowers and linden flowers are very, very medicinal. They're very gentle on the body to help get rid of infections and flus and coats and colds and things like that. I actually am hoping to grow an elderberry um, bush on my property so that I can have my own and I don't have to order it. So this guys, you should have this in your inventory of health remedies. So what I'm going to do here is just take a little bit of the elderberry and like a scoop. And if you notice it, Look 
look at the color that comes out it's so pretty and it's a very gentle smell as well um, and you can feel as you're drinking this that it's healing your body but in a very delicate way so that's why I love about linden flowers and elder flowers is the gentleness that they have and as you're sipping and enjoying and relaxing it's also healing you so you can see I fill it all the way up and there you go a pot of healthy medicinal tea that will help the body to heal from the malady that it just experienced whether it was cold or flu or whatever and I'll just have this on the side and my daughter can sip this all day with a little bit of honey and that's it okay so as you can see here my house is a is a wreck I took all of my herbs out all of my jars my apothecary and went through everything. I've been meaning to do this for so long. So today was a day of inventory, um, settling jars that were half empty, refilling them, going in my cupboard and also ascertaining what's left of the herbs that I use. As you notice, I just showed you time. That's my go-to for any type of breathing issues or asthma or colds. And so, of course, you can see ginger here. It's very hot because it's, it was frozen. I freeze a bunch, of, a bunch in my freezer, and then as I need it, I take it out. I boil it to get it soft, and then I chop it. So it's really hot on my fingers in this video here. So I'm doing two things today. I'm looking for things in my apothecary to help with a cold and flu that my children are getting over with right now. Seems to have been going around the neighborhood. And I'm also thinking since my daughter's fever has subsided that now she's on the way to healing and I'll give her herbs and tonics that will now fortify that and reinforce the body's ability to restore its health and restabilize itself. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, so again, I have two batches, one big pot of cold and flu tea here with the ginger and at least 15 herbs that I've been doing for years together. And if I tell you, even when we had COVID, people were shocked because it was very mild for my entire family of five of us in this house. And I owe it to this tea, the concoctions that I've been using for years. So now I'm also looking and deciding with the mild tea that I want to give my daughter because she gets like upset if it tastes like bitter or whatever. And we all know that bitter is better. But I'm thinking of an herb that I'll add to the tea for her that will kind of soften the, the taste for her. So I decided to add some rose petals in there. Rose tea is so delicious. The vitamin C content is so high. And so here I am putting it all together for her and myself, as you'll see. <laughs>
so when so the fact that people were the fact that people were um, had a cold here 